Hi, my name's Stuart Holmes. I'm from the Stuart Holmes Hair and Beauty Spa in Cheltenham. And today I'm really pleased to welcome everybody from Your Hair magazine to the shoot that we're doing. And the team have been really busy preparing to do some really exciting looks for them. And hopefully by the end of it, the girls will get a complete transformation. Today I'm going to be cutting Libby's hair. Um, first of all, what we're going to be doing is reducing some of this length through the back here because on her face shape, it sits a lot better, shorter through the front and taking all the length away through the back. As you can see, underneath the back of her hair, there's quite a lot of curl. So what we're going to be doing is eliminating all this curl from the bottom of the hair and allowing a little bit of length to drop over the top of it. So it's going to be basically an undercut. It's going to be a lot easier for her to just wear it a little bit more, so it's a bit more controlled. With Libby's hair today, um, I'm going to work the foils in a snail bun section. So when Libby moves her hair around, she'll get a variation with the colour. So if she moves it to the left, she'll get more of a fresher, creamier, brighter finish. And then if she moves it to the right, the colour will just shimmer through underneath. And then where Jason's going to be taking the hair away underneath, I'm just going to keep that more natural and maybe just a little bit deeper, just to give a variation in depth throughout the hair. Today um, on Jess's hair, with the haircut, what we are going to do is we are going to um, create some strong depth through the front of the haircut with quite a strong heavy fringe. Um, this is just going to give some definition through the front and just bring out her lovely eyes and cheekbones. Jess has got lovely beautiful long dark hair. We wanted to create some interest with the colour so we decided to choose a technique called balayage. With this technique, we will be backcombing the root area and then smudging a light colour through the mid lengths and ends. This will give a luxurious, soft finish without it being high maintenance. Today, we're going to, on Georgie, we're going to do a real nice box bob. It's going to be really easy to manage. It's going to be one length. We're going to put a nice heavy fringe in but we're also going to create texture on the fringe. Once I've cut the hair, I'm going to do, do a really nice strong blow dry, a really nice smooth, a little bit of volume, but I don't want too much volume in there. And just to create that overall nice shape, a nice striking fringe to show off those cheekbones and those eyes. Today I'm going to be looking after George's colour. With the box bobs, they're quite sharp. So with the colour, we're going to go in with something really quite soft. Um, George is really dark naturally, she's got this amazing shine to her hair so we really want to look after that and keep it going. We're going to use um, our new Anoa colours by L'Oreal, they're fabulous on the hair, they keep it in really great condition, keep the shine, it's the main thing. George's skin tone is quite cool and her eyes are really nice and blue so this colour is going to work fantastically with her, with her overall look. As a result, with Libby's hair, we've achieved a really beautiful natural finish um, and just got these really shimmering blondes just flicking through the ends just to give an luminous, glamorous feel. Basically, the idea is to make this hair very versatile so she can dress it up or, you know, when she's going out for a meal or something so she can have it choppy, quite classy, quite sexy looking, you know, really versatile basically. So Jess's colour today, um, it's come out beautifully, it's kept it so down the bottom you've got slightly more of a brighter blonde and through the top section it's more softer. With the haircut I wanted to create some sort of strength through here. So we've got a nice um, long fringe that just sits lovely and it just really brings out the eyes. Because Jess is a mum, she needs a low maintenance hairstyle, so this is just perfect for her. On George's hair today, we used our new Anoa colour by L'Oreal. Anoa is really fantastic keeping shine. Um, when Georgie came in, her shine, natural shine was just amazing and we didn't want to lose that at all. So we've just gone really natural with the colour. We've had a slight bit of mauve ash to the colour. 
um, and then underneath we've done some hidden sections of um, some biscuity blondes. That way she can sh really show it off when she wants to, if she wants to tuck it behind her ear. But it's just there so as she moves it kind of shimmers through. I think it looks fab. As you can see, the finishing results, I've taken the length up on Georgie's hair, which accentuates the jawbone and the cheekbones. I think putting in the full fringe as well um, really lightens her face. Um, it works really well. And I think with the color, with the high shine, and the subtle color coming through the fringe, I think it's a low maintenance, easy way, and very commercial. I think it, it, looks, it looks great.